assembled and you have it properly grounded per the instructions we provided, uh, the next thing you want to do is uh, once the unit is at room temperature, if you received it in cold weather, make sure that you warm the unit up first to room temperature. Uh, then you go ahead and plug it in, as I'm doing now. And you see an indicator light come on at the bottom, and you're going to just want to wait about 15 seconds for the circuits to initialize in the controller. Once you're ready, we're going to hit the power button, power up the controller. The noise you're hearing is the digital uh, valve control going to the preset positions uh, that it comes with from the factory. And we're going to go ahead and go through the controller uh, starting at the top down and I'll explain each function to you. Now the button marked M is mode control. There are three preset modes that come from the factory. The first one is flat work which is 95% of your powder coating. The next one is complex shape and Faraday cage mode, which is fantastic for uh, getting into tight corners and recesses and concave surfaces. The third mode is recoat, which is designated by two flat lines, two coats. And these are programs P21, P22, and P23. Next to that, up at the top here, we have a power button for the fluidization air. This is the air that goes down into the pickup tube of the box shaker when you use it in box feed mode to push air into the powder and turbulate it into a cloud as the table shakes. You can turn this off at any time simply by pressing that button and turning it back on to press that. Now there is a fourth mode uh, in the controller which contains 19 more programs which you can save and create your own pot of coat recipes and you access those by this P button Let me move this a little bit for you by this P button on the back of the gun. If you watch the controller up here as I press the button you'll see I can go between the program modes until there is nothing. And now you'll see that's at P003. Uh, excuse me, P03. This goes from 1 to 19. And in this mode, you can preset any of these to any setting that you want and store it in memory. So, for instance, if I wanted a KV of 89 and microabs of 42 move that to 70 and that up to 44. Now in program 1, those settings are saved for me permanently until I change them. I can go into program 2, come back to program 1, and here are my settings exactly as I left them. Now you notice they just changed and went to 0. That's because uh, the gun is not running at the moment. As soon as I step on the, excuse me, as soon as I squeeze the trigger, you'll hear the shaker table motor start up and powder would come out of the gun at this point. And then you'll watch your KV and your amperage and you'll see that it will change. Now another handy feature of the gun, let's go into, oh we'll go into flat mode for this, is that you can change your conveying air or your powder flow when you're in the booth without going back to the controller. That's what these up and down arrows are for. Simply by pressing that you'll notice that everything else stays the same. Okay, But I can change my conveying air up and down to change my powder flow. The last thing that I'll show you and we'll go into this in more depth on the next video is the secondary mode. If I press this button I have access to my fluidization air, which is either for the uh, box tube, pushing the air down into the box of powder, or for the hopper, which we'll do when we do the two-in-one video next, excuse me, and the dosing or smoothing air that comes out to keep the powder flow even. And that's basically it. It's super easy to use. Press this. I go back to the main setting. Just remember that under the three primary modes, flat mode, 
complex mode and recoat mode the KV and the microamps are not adjustable and this is true on any gun not just ours however you can adjust your your uh, conveying air which brings the powder through the gun the flow of powder and the dosing air which smooths out the powder flow so you can increase or decrease those as you wish but these two settings stay the same if you have a part that requires something different come to the program button on the gun come back into that fourth mode choose a program number make any change you want to it and it will be automatically saved and that's it